Oh, <laughs> you see that? <laughs> it's a little violent. We just tested the obstacle avoidance system of the Mini 3, the Mavic 3 Enterprise, and the Matrice 350 against some varying gauges of wire, and the results are gonna surprise you. Hey everybody, it's Van from CanDrone. Today we've got a couple of drones here that we'll be testing an obstacle avoidance system, and we have a very scientific setup behind us. We've got two gauges of wire, so we're gonna see if the drones can pick it up and not crash into them. So first up is the DJI Mini. Uh, I believe this is the Mini 3 and it has the front obstacle avoidance system uh, enabled. So we'll give it a try and we'll do the easier one first on the heavier gauge wire. Will it crash? Yeah, it, it does not see it at all. <laughs> We're almost touching the wire. Okay, so it doesn't see that. Let's see if it sees this giant pole here. I'm pushing forward stick and it's picking it up and it won't let me go forward. So. Yeah, it, it, it'll definitely pick up the, the bigger stuff. And that's that's like just touching the line there almost. So that's a fail. It's pretty amazing how precise these things can uh, hover. No, it's not picking that up. In conclusion for this, uh, for the Mini, it definitely doesn't see the, the wires at all. So next up we have the Mavic 3 Enterprise. Um, it does have the more fisheye looking obstacle avoidance system. So let's see if it does better than the older uh, DJI Mini here. Yeah, it's seeing it. It's not letting me go forward. I'm gonna try going on the other side here. Yeah, it's picking that up. How about the side ones? Not so much the sides. The side obstacle avoidance system does not work very well, but the forward one works really well. How about like a 45 actually? No, but the back works really well. Yeah, it sees that, that cable. Yeah, so it, it sees that it's not letting me go forward. So yes, that also detects it. So I think the uh, conclusion with the Mavic 3 Enterprise is that uh, forward uh, collision avoidance, uh, obstacle avoidance system does work pretty well for both the thicker and thinner gauge wires. Uh, however, the side uh, does not have any sensors, so it doesn't, it doesn't detect and uh, doesn't avoid. And then the back seems to have worked with a thicker gauge wire, but with a thinner gauge red wire, it didn't seem to uh, detect it properly. All right, so now we've got the big boy. This is the Matrice 350. It's got both the visual obstacle avoidance system and the uh, infrared obstacle avoidance system. So we'll, it'll be very interesting to see how this uh, reacts to these uh, thinner cables. All right, so first test is the larger gauge wire and our sensors are already going off with all the trees and vegetation around us, but let's see how close we can get to this cable here. Or it's gonna be a little bit tricky because we're a little bit lower to the ground here. I don't think it sees it at all, but here's, on this side is a bit trickier because the uh, ground is a little higher, so we're gonna try from the other side. I'm inching forward here because right now it's not seeing anything. And this is quite a bigger aircraft, so it's really sketchy. And we're just like, inches away from the cable. Uh, and it's starting to pick up something, but let's see. It's definitely picking up the pole, but the cable, I'm not too sure about. I mean, it, it kind of hesitates a little bit, but doesn't fully break. So it looks like the obstacle avoidance cameras are, are very similar to the, uh, the mini there. So it's not picking up at all. And, and the near infrared is probably, the beam is probably too narrow for it to, to see it. So I'm willing to bet that the red cable is not gonna be any better. No, it doesn't see it at all. It's just picking us up on the side here. Oh, <laughs> you see that? <laughs> it's a little violent. I was expecting uh, a little bit better for, from the M350 here, considering it's about $10,000 or more for that type of drone system. All right, so out of these three drones right here today, the clear winner is the Mavic 3 Enterprise. The Mini and all these drones perform well when it came to larger objects, but when it literally came down to the wire, the Mavic 3 Enterprise was the only drone that was able to detect it. Uh, there's obviously limitations within all of these obstacle avoidance systems. Uh, even the Mavic 3 Enterprise, uh, when we were going sideways towards the wire, it wouldn't detect that. So the frontal and the rear uh, obstacle avoidance system work really well. I was surprised because the Matrice 350 is almost double the price of the Mavic 3 Enterprise and it did not see the wire at all. I guess it's a little bit disappointing, but with the Matrice 350, you're probably doing aerial surveys with a LiDAR 
or photogrammetry, so you'll probably be very high off the ground and wouldn't really encounter um, environments with such small cables, whereas the Mavic 3 Enterprise, uh, you might be doing some power line inspections and you might be flying lower to the ground, so uh, it's good to know that this works really well.